hello my beautiful people how are you guys doing i hope you are doing well happy new year happy new year to every one of you out there i wish god protection favor blessings above all i wish you all your heart desire in jesus name amen Today video we want to talk about maybe this video about Regina Daniel. She make a video that she's sick. She's in the hospital in Germany. I pray for a quick recovery for her and I pray that that sickness will be a sickness of joy. You guys know what I'm talking about. That kind of sickness of a mother of a teen. After three months, everything will be okay. I pray it should be that. And when you come to see some comments in the media, sometimes I just wonder what's wrong with some people. So that I wonder why people are so so desperate to condemn someone's life. The little girl and make our decision before she agreed to marry that man. She know is capable of handling any situation in that relationship. Why are you guys so wicked and still be hostile to her? When you come across some comment concerning this girl Regina uh, Regina Daniel about uh, the video she make that she is sick, why would she not be sick? Because she's carrying what is bigger than her. Why she not be sick because she has stress over being a six or seven to her. Are you guys there? Whatever she seen there, like being a set seven wife or six wife, don't know. Would that cause her sickness? Before you guys start giving comment that 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 will break someone down. Before you guys start saying things that is not pleasing. You guys will leave that girl alone. She has decided to take that, that that road. She has decided to make that decision. And the decision she make, I don't see anything wrong on it. Married to an old man or married to a young boy, there is no problem on it. If he's able to handle that case of being civil wife, it's fine. And whatever she's passing through today is not because she's married to a old mother, it's why she's sick or not. You people should stop condemning people's people's life. People should stop writing comments that break someone's down, that will break her heart. And you guys should leave her alone, let her live her life. And stop taking Panadol for another man's Edict, my dear, this is a new year. Let it be a year. A good decision, not year of uh, condemning someone's uh, opinion. And the second one I'm going to be talking about is about Mercy Johnson. Okay, when you go to media concerning the post about a pregnancy, oh my God, where you see some comments, you 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 you, you, you will not know what to say. You will be shocked of what people are saying. Mercy Josie is not a poor woman. When you decide to count people that has money in Nigeria, I don't think Mercy will be left out. She will be counted among of the uh, among of the richest person in Nigeria. If she decides to have four kids or she decides to have six kids, all less for her. She is not coming to beg you guys for money or beg you guys for food. Why are you condemning her? When you see some com so comment, will be saying them. Um, she want to she want to have the whole world. She want to have dozen. Oh la la! What is your problem about that? What is your problem, guys? My Nigeria people, this year is not a year to condemn someone. Mercy is not poor. If Mercy decide to have as many children. She she can take care of them. Don't let that be your problem. Like our 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 forefathers, like our parents, 
They have eight children and many they can take off. It's not this time around when someone have one or two. You will be condemning that person. Why is he having uh, uh, children? Children that she is not coming to beg you. Her husband is not coming to beg you for food or money. Why are you condemning her? And for the funniest thing, she don't look at those comments. If she want to have five kids tomorrow, she can have it. If that is not your problem, and you guys should stop condemning her. Today's message is just for me to to avoid those uh, foolish commenters there that is condemning people by their words or by their writing. You guys, you stop. It's not helping you guys. Stop, 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 please. Stop condemning someone. And focus on, on your life. Focus on your life. And leave other people matter alone. My dear. This is my little video. Please do not forget to like this, like this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up. Drop your comments. I'll let everything together. See you in my next video. Love you all. Bye bye. Hi guys, happy new year. It's 2020, January 1st. Um, happy new year to everybody. To those that are offended in the year 2019, to those I was a bitch too, to those I was mean, to those um to everyone I offended, I'm sorry. But if you deserve whatever attitude I give to you, then okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my fans. Thanks for loving me. Thanks for hating me. Thank you for just knowing there was somebody called Regina. Or there is somebody called Regina. Thank you, everyone. Happy New Year once again. Happy